Hello guys, Merry Christmas everybody. I hope you've had a good day. No sooner do I say that and somebody logs off. Okay, that's a good start. Right, we are going to be playing today uh, a little game called Dear Esther, which incidentally is where I got this screenshot from. It's one hell of a pretty game. There's no violence, no real action. It's all psychological. We're going to be playing this for a little bit. And... Uh, after we play for a bit, we can all sit down and say, do we want to play this some more? Should we play something else? I've got a bit of Sims 3 lined up, a bit of Minecraft lined up. But I haven't played this in a long time. Want to give it a try. And playing Portal yesterday just put me in the right mood. So let's make a start, shall we? Let's move that slightly. Right, uh, Alice, Frankie, Live Audio, Merlin's Child, hello all, welcome to the, uh, welcome to the, uh, the, the stream, so let's make a start, shall we? Now that is one hell of an ellipsis. In fact, you could call it a lip of Dear Esther, the gulls do not land here anymore. I've noticed that this year they seem to shun the place. Maybe it's the depletion of the fishing stock driving them away. Perhaps it's me. When he first landed here, Donnelly wrote that the herds were sickly and their shepherds the lowest of the miserable classes that populate these Hebridean islands. Three hundred years later, even they have departed. <laughs> That's what all baby ellipsises be hope to become. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is not everything what is what it seems, okay? I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Um, we are here on this island. We started on the dock. We don't really know how we got here or uh, anything at all, to be honest with you. But we're here. And we just need to see where the story takes us, see what's going on, see what happened. And we're going to start exploring things. One thing that uh, intrigues me about this game is there's no jump button. So I'm feeling a touch stuck at the moment. There we go. That's got us back up. So we're here at this lighthouse. There's a radio beacon over there. Both are things we, uh, we envisage when we were under the water here. And we just need to look around and see what's going on. So let's start off with this lighthouse here, obviously. Look through the windows. Yeah, this hasn't been hasn't been lived in. This is not our home, obviously, is it? Because you know, not even my home is this messy. Oh, let's have a look inside. Start with let's, let's start with our. Oh, there's a path off of there. That's good. Ooh, instant flashlight. Hey, we're slicking in Gordon Freeman here. Uh, there's very little that's going to be interactive, but there's, we just need to have a look at stuff and put two and two together and see how the world, the world takes us. Uh, yeah, that's going to take more than a little bleach to sort out, isn't it? Uh, 
Do we have anything interesting here? Can't quite read that. So, yep, clearly deserted lighthouse. Stairs broken, we can't get up there. Ah. Hmm. Chemical formula. Hydrogen, carbons, a little oxygen. No idea what it is. We'll have to see. Well, we'll have to see even if it's relevant, let alone anything else. <laughs> right, okay, let's go and follow this path a little bit. So we can go down or we can go up. Try up. Well, actually, let's see what's down first. Let's see if we can just look over the side and see what's going on here. Yeah, that path does seem to carry on down there, doesn't it? Woo! Donnelly reported the legend of the Hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, when all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side, and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Alright, so... Ah, that's why. Here is the cave. But clearly... The guy is acting like he's lived here, but there's no sign of, of life or anything like that. I'm starting to feel we should have gone down to the beach first, but let's push on nonetheless. And yes, buying a lottery ticket is the first step towards winning it. So if you want to win it, it tends to be a good idea. This is so pretty. Not going any further, so... I think we go back. See if we... See anything here? Oh, look at that. I thought that was a hole there, but no, it's just clipping. This is really, really pretty, but uh, I think it's going to be really, really slow pace. If you guys find yourself getting bored with this, give us a shout. Scarlet Ladybug. Hello. Woo. Down we go. Let's try along here instead. So this has the feel like um of the Hebridean Islands, you know, the the, the the islands to the north of Scotland. Um well, that look like lobster pots. Let's see if there we get any different visions in the water here. Um, something's definitely calling us to the radio tower, isn't it? Right, on we go. 
So, get anything fun? Anybody get anything enjoyable? Ivan the Unknown, hello. Hmm, haven't had a bacon in a while. That sounds quite when nice. When you were born, your mother told me a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that, but you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Okay, that's... <laughs> Dobby is a free elf. <laughs> Uh, I kind of trying to work out the the relationship he has with the with Esther. I mean, it, it sounded a bit like the start that, that he was her father, but uh, it would appear not to be the case. Um, yeah, that's probably because that's exactly what it is. If that is the radio tower, then uh, that is that is precisely what that is going to be. That's going to be um, uh, a, a low flying aircraft warning thingy, flashy light, doobry, what's it? Oh, I'm so I eloquent. I found the ship's manifest, crumpled and waterlogged under a stash of paint cans. It tells me that along with this present cargo, there was a large quantity of antacid yogurt bound for the European market. It must have washed out to sea. God knows there are no longer gulls or goats here to eat it. Doubt many gulls need antacid anyway. Oh, lucky you. Hello, Mega Racer 25. Just talking about... Uh, presence and it sounds like Merlin's child's got the uh, the, the practical ones uh, see so a lot of socks going around this year I got a microwave oven which given the fact that my my existing one was about to dissolve in a pile of rust was probably a good present And I also made myself cheesecake, which was highly enjoyable. Um, couldn't be bothered to crumble up the biscuits, so what I actually did is I made um, digestive biscuit sized cheesecakes, lots of little mini ones. So each di digestive biscuit had a bit of cheesecake mixture on top of it, a bit of fruit on top of that. Oh, look at this. It's not an arrow. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't have. Uh, hmm. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I might think to think about that one. Uh, oh, there's nothing wrong with liking food. Food is a good thing to like. Uh, perhaps I should like it a little bit more moderation, but. Uh, I like it. So, uh, yeah. Um, other than that, I tell, I, instead of having the uh, the Christmas dinner, uh, I I opted for the um, the Boxing Day favourite and had a curry instead. But uh, yeah, that was highly nice. That was. So we're going up now. Let's see where this takes us. We're about a quarter of an hour in, so I will be asking you after about an hour whether you want me to play this anymore. But we're slowly getting towards the radio tower. So a wonderful sight. The moon cresting the junction between the cliff path and the stone circle. It cast a shadow of the ridge across the beach, all the world as if you had signed your name in untidy handwriting. The stone circle. I see no stone circle. Shh. 
chicken pesto sounds absolutely gorgeous though from an earlier comment I, I'm, I'm kind of wishing I'd made that now that uh, got all the stuff I need to do not much we're just talking about Christmas dinner uh, hello make it Merry Christmas uh, we're playing Dear Esther, and it looks like our goal is to get to that uh, flashy light died there. died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid, or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff path died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Mmm, there's nothing seriously wrong with this guy, isn't there? Mmm, Bailey's Cheesecake. Chocolatey, liquory, mmm, nice. That's a slight shame, but uh, hey, enjoy your grandma while she's still around. So, this seems like a small price to pay. Let's go this way. I quote directly, a motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Hello Raven Sir, I didn't see you log on. Is it just you or are there other people trying to control your keyboard today? Wow. Oh. There we go, let's go through here. There we go. So we're heading further into this island. The uh, the light should be over that way somewhere. Um, presumably we're going to turn towards it again. But uh, this is pretty much what it is. Is that this story is? It's, it's walk along, look at the scenery, interpret what's going on, and you know, try to build the story around it. I have some theories. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Hello guys, um, I'm not entirely certain if he murdered Esther or not. I think it's one of the things we're going to find out. I've been to Wolverhampton, an interesting place. Um, more branches of Greg's per square mile than anywhere else I've ever been. Uh, Greg's, if you guys don't know, is a branch of High Street Bakers. Uh, Uh, can we get out to this little ship? There's the uh, the lighthouse we came from. Nope. No, it's still going to be that same clip again, isn't it? Come back. Uh, it's... 
they do make very nice bread you're absolutely right why am I bored of turkey um, it's you know that whole Christmas tradition of going out and buying turkey turkey like mad I find and myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin we are woven into a sodden blanket stuffed into the bottom of a boat to stop the leak and hold back the ocean my neck aches from staring up at the aerial. It mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I am sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife, head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. Oh, okay. Uh, hello, Dragon Wolf Tamer. Happy, uh... Christmas to you too. Um, yeah, right. Why am I bored of turkey? It's just. Oh, this is pretty, isn't it? He says, distracting himself. It's just. It's just boring, you know. The the tradi the, the tradition of uh, the the sprouts being on for three weeks and uh, it, it's just you know sort of too much, not very nice food and, uh, and just going by rote and not my idea of fun. So I try to do things different every year. Like, for example, today I'm running a live stream. Oh, what's all this? Yes, this is this is where I got the screenshot from. Actually, that's a tr that's a lie. This is where the Hell Kitty got the screenshot from and sent it to me. So, right, we're back to this here. There's a chemical symbol here, but it looks like it's it's like it's growing roots and branches now. It's becoming a tree. Hmm. Yeah, so there's definitely an organic theme to this, isn't there? Yeah, it was on the lighthouse and yeah. Gone a bit further. I don't. Yeah, the problem is I think I come across a bit anti, anti Christmas. I'm not that anti Christmas to be took. What was that? I'm not that anti Christmas to be honest with you. I'm just not a huge fan. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go try the other line, uh, the other path. Whoop. one of those blooming gunnons again. Arr. Come back, yo, come back. Yes, he's got a very good voice, hasn't he? And, uh, eminently listened to one. So let's follow this stream up. This is going to go back to the junction. Oh, we can see the, uh, the radio again. <laughs> yes, Gullens. And I'm seriously considering uh, writing a mod for Minecraft to put Gullens in it. He still maintains he wasn't drunk, but tired. I can't make the judgment or the distinction anymore. I was drunk when I landed here, and tired too. I walked up the cliff path in near darkness and camped in the bay where the trawler lies beach. It was only at dawn that I saw the bothy and decided to make my temporary lodgings there. I was expecting just the aerial and a transmitter stashed in a weatherproof box somewhere on the mount. It had an air of uneasy permanence to it. Like all the other buildings here, erosion seems to have evaded it completely. I think he was talking about that special breed of seagull that has uh, a spoon to eat its own yogurt. 